Hey everybody, this is Chris Ward, broker in charge of Eagle Realty in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Welcome to another episode of our podcast, The Eagle Realty. I'm sorry, I messed up the name of the podcast. The Eagle Reality Career Talk. I say it's reality because this is the reality. Now, I, I understand the difference between reality and realty. Uh, there is an I in the word. And it's amazing to me how many people still spell the word realty uh, when dealing with like real estate companies, Eagle Realty, with an I in it, which would make it reality, which was kind of the what we were going for with a little comedic parody on the title. But this is the Eagle Reality Career Talk. You can catch the Eagle Reality web series, um, our, our vlog show on our YouTube channel slash Eagle Realty One. Um, on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to that, and you can check out the Eagle Reality, our web series. And that's a that's a fun one to, to look at too. But our podcast talking about the Eagle Reality real estate career talk. Hopefully, these are some growth and tools and hacks for your real estate career as a real estate agent. Um, if you are not a real estate agent, that is totally okay as well. I'm hoping you can glean something from this that you can apply to whatever industry, whatever business that you're in. Of course, we're gonna be more tailored towards the entrepreneur type. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, then you would m more readily understand the real estate model and industry and, and our business. Um, in our career. It is really an industry that is built for those that are entrepreneur minded. It is not a job. In fact, that is the topic of today's topic. This is kind of a macro level. Well, no, this is both macro and micro, both um, ethereal and tactical when it comes to your real estate business. Because the topic is something that you know, but based on your actions, it won't seem like you do. As a real estate agent, you may understand this, you may know what I'm about to say, but I don't know if you've internalized it enough to play it out in how you do your day-to-day -day real estate business. And here's why I say that. Um, I say that because real estate is not a job, it is a business that you own. When you choose to become a realtor, you are creating a business within a business. When you affiliate with a brokerage, you are creating a business within a business. If you become a broker and you have your own brokerage, you are running a business with a bunch of little businesses. Each real estate agent or real estate team that you have in your company that is affiliated with you are a bunch of little businesses running under your umbrella business. And that should change the dynamic, that should change the way that you do what you do. That should change the way that you think about how you think about your career. Once you internalize that you are a business owner, when you become a real estate agent and that you are a business owner, that should change the dynamic of how you set up and run and run your day to day and how you look and view about how to build and grow your career in real estate. This can be played out in so many different ways. Um, I'm gonna hit a couple different examples. Uh, things that you can look up, you know, I think, I think even, just, even just the mind shift, even just the, the tweak in your, in your brain functionality about what you do as a realtor, if you can just grasp that by becoming a realtor, you own your own business now, and you have to do as such, dude, you can just, you can just Google that. <laughs> just Google being a business owner, and you'll get tons of advice on how to run your business. Now, I think the first piece of advice is if I say, hey, now that you're a real estate agent, you realize you're a business owner, if that scares you, you may be in the real, wrong business. Let's just let's just be honest real quick. If you thought this was gonna be com coming to a normal desk job where you sit nine to five and you, know, you get told kind of what to do and you have a task list of what you need to get done and you're kind of scared of the, you know, you, you knew it was commission based and you like the thought of being able to control and make more money when you can make more money when you're doing well. 
um, but you didn't really thought about the downside as if it, things are going bad, you're not making any money. So this isn't a salary type you know, position. If all those kind of elements make you nervous and scared, I will go ahead and recommend maybe you need to rethink the real estate thing. Maybe that's it's just not your, your forte. Or, let me come at this a different way. Possibly, I don't always recommend it this way. Possibly, if you're a real estate agent and you love real estate, you love aspects of being a real estate agent, some of the key components, showings, or working with sellers, the relational side, um, following up with leads, being on the phone. If you like some of the aspects, then I'm gonna suggest maybe you need to join a team. Maybe you don't need to be on your own in real estate. Maybe you need to be part of a team and there's someone on that team that handles the actual business management of that team. The accounting, the marketing strategy, the branding, the metric tracking, the taxes, the, you know, like all of the actual business owner type decision and functions that need to be done you have somebody on that team that is handling that and you can do what you do well or what you're passionate about which is maybe the the, the interaction the personal side the the home showing side the being at property or being with people side of the business take that a step further maybe you're good at that and you're good at leading people but you have zero admin skills when it comes to, again, the functions and logistics of running and managing a business. So maybe you can hire somebody. You may be the team lead. You might be maybe the buyer's agent, the listing agent, or the realtor for the team. It could go either way. But the truth is, if you're a standalone realtor, you need to understand that you're a business owner and you need to run your business accordingly, which means here's some of the tips and tricks some of the things I just mentioned. One, make sure you have a business plan. What's your plan to grow your business? Have you set goals? How are you going to obtain those goals? What's your strategy? A lot of real estate's just numbers. You just you need to you know level out the numbers. Can you achieve the goals that you have for yourself based on the strategy that you've created? What's your marketing strategy? What's your marketing budget? What's your branding strategy? Have you thought about logo design? How's your creative skills when it comes to content marketing or you know, um, create, creative content both on the blog side, both on the picture side? Are you good at videos? Are you good in front of the camera? Can you talk well? Um, are, you, are you having enough time for your content and your marketing that's not taken away from the day-to-day -day of showing or meeting with listings, going on appointments, all that kind of thing? How's your budgeting accounting skills? Because you're gonna have to keep track of your own expenses. You're a 1099 independent contractor of the brokerage firm, which means you're responsible for paying your own taxes. You're responsible for your own budget. There's no taxes taken out. It's amazing to me how many realtors still sometimes forget that or how many, let's be honest, new realtors coming into the business in their first year forget, oh wait, I have to pay taxes and I have to be saving or cutting that amount out of each commission check, uh, putting that on the back end or making quarterly payments to the IRS if that's a little bit easier. It just depends on how your CPA advises you with that. All that to say, if you're going to grow your business, you have to first realize it is a business. Now, I hope you have a good broker or support staff. I hope you have somebody um, there that can help mentor, coach, and lead you in this direction or that you've joined a team, like I said, that has the key components to be a successful business within a business. That's what you should be looking for as a realtor. When you get out of a school, you get licensed, or even if you've been in the business for a few years and you still feel like, man, I'm like doing the same thing over and over again. I'm killing myself every year and I'm making the same amount. What is going on? It may be because you've never really thought of and strategized your year-to-year -year business like you're running a business, like you're running a company and that you are both the CEO and the janitor. That's what it comes down to. When you run your own business, you are the CEO, the CFO, the COO, 
especially as a real estate agent, from for the most for the majority of us that aren't on our teams, you are all these things in the executive world, which that sounds fun, but you're also the janitor, the night security guard, the person that locks up. You know, you are the cleaning and maid service of your business. You are the accounting department. You are the creative department, the marketing agency, the branding department, the customer relationship um, department, the CSR. You are all these things. And as long as you realize it and plan for it, you can be very successful. And like any business that's going to grow, here's what I'm going to leave you with. I would totally, totally recommend the growing trend NAR has put out there for the last decade, really, is teams in real estate. Because to scale your business in a way that you may want to scale it, it may take more than just you. You as an individual, me as an individual has a ceiling. Each of us have different ceilings, but we all have a ceiling. And to scale past that point is going to take adding a person or some kind of virtual or technology that can allow us to move a little bit further to free us up and move our ceiling up but there's only so much that that can do as well you have to realize that at some point if you're going to grow a company you're probably going to, have to scale through people at some point and so ending with this if at anything you got from this whole podcast episode if you are a real estate agent you are a business owner real estate is not a job it is owning a company. It is growing and running a business. And I hope by that realization, it makes you look at what you're doing in your real estate career a little bit different. Because I think with that realization and that mental shift, you will be able to become more successful right now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Again, Chris Ward, broker in charge, Eagle Realty, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Make sure you subscribe on iTunes. Check out our SoundCloud or at slash Chris Ward Vic. Um, go to our YouTube channel, Eagle Realty One.